The early successes of the 110 fueled the Luftwaffe's enthusiasm for a design that was planned as the 110's successor. But the BF-210 was a complete failure and cost Willy Messerschmitt his position at the head of the company that bore his name. The BF-210 looked very advanced and sleek when it first flew in September 1939. But in the air, it proved to be very unstable and difficult to handle. A frantic program of modifications followed, but even these could not get rid of a tendency to stall and spin. The 210 was conceived as a twin-engined, multi-purpose fighter and attack aircraft. Its specification looked so impressive on paper that the Luftwaffe ordered 1,000 machines before the type had even flown. But many of its problems stems from trying to build in too many new ideas into an untried airframe. For example, the 13mm machine guns were mounted in electronically controlled barbettes on either side of the fuselage. Aiming was all but impossible, and the mechanical complexity meant that they often failed. As a result, Crews rarely used them. The forward section housed a bay designed to carry photo reconnaissance equipment or two 1100 pound bombs. But the clam type bomb bay doors made the aircraft so unstable when opened that only a crew bent on self destruction would dare open them in flight. The 210 also featured a complex arrangement of ailerons, flaps and dive brakes. Although these were intended to help the pilot, they only served to make the 210 even more unstable. When used, they had a tendency to flip the aircraft into an uncontrollable spin. Although repeated attempts were made to try and resolve the 210's vices, production had to be temporarily suspended in 1942. Many of the problems were solved by lengthening the rear fuselage and adding automatic slats to the wing's leading edge. This modified aircraft was redesignated the 410 Hornissa or Hornet and was delivered to the Luftwaffe from January 1943. Both aircraft looked almost identical and used the Daimler-Benz 603 12-cylinder inline engine. These engines gave the 410 a top speed of 364 miles per hour at around 22,000 feet and a maximum service ceiling of just over 32,000 feet. As well as the rearwards firing machine guns, the 410 had four 20mm cannon and two machine guns firing forwards. As the Allies stepped up their bombing campaign in 1944, the 410s were engaged in the home defence role. But during raids on southern England later that year, they proved their value as a ground attack aircraft by both day and night. But the type was, in reality, little better than the later developments of the BF-110, which it was intended to replace. And so, in September 1944, production was terminated after just over 1,000 aircraft had been built. <laughs> 